And today is going to be spicy. So I'm going to advise you to turn down the volume of your phone, okay, or use some headphones. And maybe you need to be in a more private area, okay? So come here. Five ways that you can play with their. You know what this is? Yeah, you know what this is? If you know, then you are a champ, okay? So five ways that you will be able to stimulate the C area of the powerhouse to give your woman intense finishing. All right, so welcome, welcome back to my channel. On here, we are truthful. We keep it real 100% on things that concerns love, sex, and relationship. So do well to stick around so that you don't miss any episodes. Now, let's go. Listen, whenever we talk about how to stimulate, how to play, how to, you know, take care of the powerhouse of a woman to give her a very big happy ending, I always say something, and I'm going to repeat it again make sure that your hands are clean make sure your hands are clean make sure your nails are trimmed okay make sure you've not eaten anything spicy so you don't have any kind of spiciness hot chili pepper habanero and the rest of them make sure you don't have them on your hands make sure your fingers are clean okay it's very important because you don't want to mess with her ph and everything down there you're just going to like ruin the entire mood okay so make sure your hands are clean second thing we're going to talk about is make sure it is lubricated don't you ever ever try to go down to the powerhouse of a woman dry you go and do this don't ever do it okay it's going to create discomfort she's going to get hot she's not going to enjoy it it's not going to work so the woman's body naturally produces its own lubricants okay it brings out its own oils and everything all you have to do is know how to tease and play to make her release all of those sweetness that would make it easy for you to go down there but if you don't know how to do it or you don't have the time you just want to go straight to the point make sure that you buy a water-based lubricant i mean they have oil-based ones and all of that but a water-based one is more advisable to buy or use a body oil that works for her okay something like you know a baby oil okay don't use your saliva okay i'm not a fan of that it is not very healthy to use your saliva but i know i know you listening to me you will still use your saliva this night so what can i do I'm just telling you that it's not the best option okay now now that that is out of the way let me tell you the five easy methods that you can use to you know stimulate or play with the c area of the powerhouse all right okay so comment down below if you've done any of these five okay and if you think you know another method that i don't know because i know some of you guys be coming up with really weird shit so let me know in the comment section because i'd like to try all right now the very first um one we'll talk about is the three finger method now let's assume that this is the powerhouse of your woman and this area is the C area that is super sensitive. So if you don't know what it looks like, it looks like a little knot that is wearing a hoodie. Okay, so it's a little pinkish. It's usually pinkish. I don't know if other people's on a red or blue or black. But it's usually a little pink, little small knot head uh, that looks like it's wearing a jacket, like it's wearing a coat. So it has like a, a cap on top, of, on top of it. So for a lot of people, when you move the hoodie back a little, and you're just rubbing on its plain head it becomes too sensitive and it's painful okay so a lot of women do not like you to rub directly on the bald head that is pink just looking at you okay so if your woman is lying down this way if this is the powerhouse this area is what we're talking about the little knot that is here okay now what some women prefer is that you tickle you play you stimulate right on top of the hood so you're stimulating everything the hood and you know all of it why some women would prefer that you pull the hood back a little so that the little knot mouth the knot head is showing and then you stimulate on that head like i said every woman is not the same for a lot of women it will be too sensitive and it will it will cause pain rather than pleasure so just make sure that you understand what your woman likes now you're going to use your three fingers these two fingers will be on the lips and this third one will be on the head okay so you're going to be doing this this is one method that you can play with the 
with the powerhouse of a woman okay so the middle finger is obviously in the middle doing all of the work from the from the tip of the of the c head to the to the hood and back okay while these two fingers is playing on the lips which a lot of you guys ignore okay so doing this will give her great pleasure you have to start practicing it okay three fingers really easy the two on the lips the one in the middle the two on the lips the one in the middle this is what you're going to be doing and this will give her great pleasure the second method to play with the the yeah the c area of the powerhouse is to do the cycle motion now i know you guys are not are not new to the cycle motion because i think that's what a lot of you do but then again you need to pay attention make sure that your woman is well lubricated and also find out if she wants you to play directly on the surface or she wants you to play with the hood on top of it okay it's safer to play it's safer to play when the hood is on top of it so you're going to just keep doing this on the surface of the c area now for a lot of women they want more pressure okay pressure they want those pressure so they want you to press down on it while you do the circle motion okay so doing the circle motion is what a lot of people want so if, if they want more pressure or if you want her to enjoy it more make sure you're using two fingers make sure it is well lubricated make sure you're pressing down on it and make sure that you are going in circle that you're doing all of this that's what she wants you to be doing the third thing that you can also do if you want to make your woman enjoy what you're doing is to do the left and the right motion now this one also you need to pay attention because for some women also they want you to do it with the hood on top the other ones don't want you to do it with the hood on top so make sure that maybe you lift the hood a little or you go downwards a little and you're not doing it right on top of the hood you're doing it like at the mouth of the of the what's it called of the c area so you're doing the left and right like this and honestly make sure that she's lubricated or this is going to cause her pain okay now you're going to just do this okay you're going to do the left and the right motion you're going to you know do the speed how your partner prefers if they want you to go slowly you're going to go slowly if she wants you to go fast make sure you go fast if she wants you to put more pressure make sure you have more pressure here or you just do it flicky 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 on top of it and i think that's mostly what most women do okay especially when they are you know doing it themselves they prefer to go the left and right motion and they just do it on the surface like like feather like strokes but you know concentrating on the hood of the c area okay and maintaining a particular rhythm not just changing 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 no if you're going to go one two one two one two one two make sure you stay on that one two one two one two one two one two one two and when she tells you don't stop or continue what you're doing don't go one two no continue one two one two one two one two one two so make sure you create a rhythm and stick to it help her build up the excitement until when she finishes fourth method on how to give your woman that intense finish when you're playing with the powerhouse of the woman is to do the front and back motion now the front and back motion is a mix of doing it with the hood on and doing it without the hood because what you're doing is you're going up and down okay so while you're going up while you're coming down it seems like you're using the hoods to cover up the direct touch and while you're going up it's like you're taking out the hood and you're touching directly on it so some women like this because they like to mix the direct touch with you just touching it a little not directly okay so you're going to be doing this just the, it's mostly like the up and down motion okay so this way it's like you're removing the hood and putting it back okay it's like you're doing this you're removing and you're closing okay so this is what you're doing directly on the on the surface of the of the sea area so you're going to be doing this a lot of women love this because it gives them direct pleasure once your hand is touching directly on the sea spot without the hood okay now if this is well lubricated this will be the fastest way to give her that intense finishing because you're not just concentrating on touching on the open sea area but you're touching on it lightly and you're covering it back with the hood so you are doing this okay now with everything you're going to be doing make sure you maintain the rhythm like we said the one to one to rhythm or whatever rhythm works for you okay but doing the up and the down motion is another easy way that you can give your woman intense finishing okay so just to re recap we've talked about the circle motion where you just go in circle we've talked about the left and the right motion okay which you're just brushing through maintaining the rhythm now we've talked about the up and down motion also while you're going 
up taking off the hood and down bringing back the hood and we've also talked about the, the three finger me method where your middle finger is directly on the c area and your two fingers are on the lips and it is doing all of this and the last method is what a lot of you guys do not do and that is the hold method now the hold method is where you take your finger maybe one or two depending on what your partner wants and you just put it directly on the c area okay so what you're doing is this you're just pressing down on the c area now this gives like a direct touch and this 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 one our advice that you do it when you've you've done like other method and you're just trying to spice things up a little or when she's you know almost finishing her you know when she's already having what she's having all of the excitement and she's almost done okay you can put your hands directly on the c area and what you're just doing is holding down pushing down the pressure okay so you're not going left you're not going right you're just directly there and you are just pressing down hold for a while like not too firm because you don't want to cause her any kind of discomfort okay but you're pressing down making her you know like you know when you're doing the kegel exercise where you're holding yourself as if you're trying to hold in pee that's what she's going to be doing and this will help her get more of those juice that you want her body to be producing when you're doing this this brings out all of those juice from your woman when you're just tapping directly on the head off the c area you are doing this you're trying to play with it on top of the hood and also without the hood okay so this is what you're going to be doing now this one you can also use when you're about to start like you're not doing all of the intense intense ones yet you're just trying to get her in the mood and get her aroused you're going to do this you're going to hold and push down you're going to hold and push down you're going to hold and push down this will help her really bring out all of those juice that will make it easier for you to give her that intense pleasure that you want to give to her. All right. So this brings us to the end of the video for today. You let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. And also, like I said, comment down below. Let me know if you've tried any of this and if your woman appreciated it. All right. Now, guys, for not yet subscribed to my channel, this is the right time to subscribe. I will see you next time. Give the video a smart thumbs up finger the like button so that other people can see it and be part of this amazing tribe i will see you next time keep living life keeping champs and bye for now Mwah.